Alright guys, welcome back. I'm here to make a video, but this video is not about chemistry, not, math not about mathematics or anything like that. No physics. It's all about what you see on the screen right now. It is all about the TI-84 calculator. Or any calculator that you want to basically transfer programs to or uh, you know mess around with. Now if you notice, I'm not like all of you. I do not have a Mac. I do not have Windows. I have Ubuntu. What you see up here at the top of my screen, these icons and all that, all this that's up here that you see that I'm pointing at with my fingers is Ubuntu. It's Linux. Looks a little different and sometimes it's different and that's okay and sometimes it's different and that can be a headache. Um, but mostly when I start using Windows, I end up becoming frustrated. Mac, I end up becoming frustrated, becoming disappointed in both. Um, well, my only reason I'm disappointed in Mac is just the price. Uh, PCs are cheap and everything. And I'm, I'm a poor boy for the most part, poor man. So I try not to uh, invest too much money in things, but there are some things that I will buy. For example, da da da, TI-84 plus calculator. Had this for a while, probably about I have not it since they came out six, seven years ago, and maybe longer. But I've always uh, had to use a Windows computer to transfer my programs. Well, Linux has had this around for a while, but I finally had to implement it because I needed to test some programs. Now to do this, uh, you're going to need a uh, just a couple of things. One is a TI-84 calculator and I prefer to use the TI-84 calculator for this because it's very easy. Um, the TI-84 calculators they have two ports on them. They have a basically a serial port which is like a headphone jack kind of thing that plugs into a gray link uh, type of Texas Instrument um, cable and it screws into the back of the serial port on the computer. Pretty old school technology, but it's there. And that's why all, all the 83s, the 82s, 83 pluses, and the 86s, and the 89s, and the 92s are. The 84 and the newer uh, versions of the calculators uh, produced by Texas Instrument has the uh, USB uh, port on it. And you're we're going to make use of this port on the TI-84 calculator. Now, if you notice, I've actually stolen this from one of my kids' uh, toys that they got uh, from a few Christmas, a few Christmases back. I think it was a child's camera. Anyway, this is the cord that I'm going to use. Uh, I can't remember the type of USB uh, they call this, but it's basically. I always call it a mini, but it's, nowadays they got one smaller than this. But if you need to look at it, that's what it looks like, and it'll fit. Now be careful with these. Don't just shove them in hard into the calculator. Uh, put them in pretty easy. And of course, this other end is the part that plugs into the USB port on the front or on the rear of your uh, desktop computer, or on the side or on the back of your laptops. Nothing fancy there. Now, the next thing you're going to need is you're going to need the software. Well, uh, you can download that from uh, the uh, Ubuntu Software Center, uh, and I try to make things easy. Anytime I learn something new with Linux, I write myself notes so I can do this, and it's not set up for you to be successful the first time installing the software that you need to actually use your TI-84 calculator to drag and drop programs, and I'll show you where to get programs for this calculator as well. But anyway. Let's look at my uh, reference guide that I have kept for the past couple of years, or a year and a half, I should say, on my experiences with Ubuntu. I actually saved a file, and it's just a text file, nothing fancy, and I've placed it on my website. Now, if you look, it's uh, www.whitwillhide.com forward slash Ubuntu.txt. Very, you know, it's just a a file. It's a small little uh, text file. But anyway, uh, I have everything that you would need here I, that you may come into contact with with uh, using Ubuntu. And I've took notes and researched things, and I've pasted it in here. And there's things from 
going all the way back to resetting Ubuntu password and basically uh, trying to figure out software and settings and things like that. I haven't updated a lot of it, but some of it I have kept up good track with. Uh, if you want to, you can set and <laughs> read from my experiences. Like I was talking about the uh, Texas Instrument softwares that they have that you can use for, uh, your ROM on. The TILM, it's great. It's the emulator. The TIEMU for an 89. I like it, but it's just, oh, it's weird. It, it shrinks the calculator and stuff like that, but I prefer the you know the virtual TI but as far as like using the 89 I dislike the VTI which is the Windows version uh, for the 89 but I love the TI EMU on Linux it's a lot better it's just Ubuntu <laughs> goes crazy and it, and it scales it weird sometimes and as long as you don't have to mess with that too much you wouldn't get frustrated anyway sorry I'm, you know I get distracted easily anyway this is what you're going to need way down towards the bottom of my notes. Actually, it is the bottom of my notes. I have instructions here for uh, you to be able to get your TI set up and running on uh, your Ubuntu uh, computer. Anyway, instructions for installing the TILP and getting it to work with the TI-84+. Plus. And I have all these. Now, in all honesty, I'm not the one that came up with all this. Um, I actually uh, went online and I looked and looked and looked. I found this one article that was really good and that explained everything and that's why I have this. But it took me a long time to find it so I wanted to make sure that I copied it and pasted it somewhere so I would never lose it again. Anyway, uh, you can sit here and you can follow all these examples. I'll try to make sure to put a link on the uh, computer. And I also did this, made notes to myself about this and everything. But anyway, uh, that was the last thing I did. But I love the TI. LP, it's a great piece of software, and I assure you that if you will follow these directions as they are, you're not going to have any problems because the guy that wrote this did an excellent job. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and pretend like we ran through all this, okay? Because I don't want to mess my my settings up and stuff. Anyway, so there, we're we're, we're done with that. Okay, so we're back here with the calculator. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to actually plug in this USB port onto our calculator. So I'm going to look at it and see which way it's going to go. I'm going to line it up and I'm going to push it in, but I'm not going to push it in hard. Remember, it's got to be nice and easy. You know, just don't shove it in there really hard because if you do, you'll, you know, mess up your USB port on your TI-84 calculator and you'll be out. Now, on my desktop, I'm going to plug this in from the front. Okay. Now I've already got all my software installed. I did the directions. It's been, the computer supposedly has been restarted and I'm ready to go. This is going to be plugged into the front of my computer, so watch it go. Okay. Um, I've been down, plugging it in. It's plugged in, and voila. I'm, I'm plugged into my computer and nothing is happening. Wow we got to get it to go. So anyway, watch this. Now, I'm going to click on Applications. I'm going to go to Accessories. I'm going to go to the Terminal. Basically, for you Windows people out there, this is the command prompt. Okay. Now, I want the TI-LIP software to run. So I'm going to go to my keyboard, and I'm going to type in T-I-L-P. Uh, you know, I always say T-LIP. But anyway, I'm ready to run it. I press Enter. It takes off. And boom, there it is. It's running. Now, uh, one of the things you want to make sure is that you have this thing set up uh, for the uh, the TI-84 uh, plus USB, notice the arrow, direct link number one. Okay, you want to make sure you're, you've done that. Now, I had the hardest time in the beginning figuring out what to do next here. Okay, well, what I... Finally, finally figured out to do was to come up here and click on. Don't don't go anywhere else. Let's go up here and click on a directory list. When I do that, it will run and it will find all the programs installed on my calculator. Now this is on my calculator right here. Okay, these are the ones that I've got installed. Now these uh, light bluish green colors. These are my programs that I've installed extra. Okay. Uh, probably got a C value store there and things like that, but this is all of them. Okay. Anyway, 
uh, that's what you're going to need to do if you want to get some programs onto your your uh, calculator. Now you're probably asking, now where do I get calculator programs from? Well, uh, let's go exploring. Uh, the best place that I have found to actually get uh, TI programs is I think it's TICalc.org. www.t Let's see, www. All right, let me go back. www.ti.org. Uh, no, ti.calc. There it is. Dot org. Okay, sorry. All right, here we go. Now, what I'll do is I will search out a program, and I will just type in what I'm looking for. Let's say you're looking for. Uh, I have no idea what I want to look up right now. But anyway, uh, say you want to look up, uh, uh, I can't say parabolas. Well, there's parabolas there. Uh, what about um, uh, mean, median, mode? Could do that. Let's think of something interesting. How about oh, quadratic equations? Because we all quad quadratic equations. All right. Maybe I didn't spell it right. Maybe I did. I'm horrible at spelling. All right. Well, go through here and find the ones that actually interest you. Well, I see this. They've got scores out here. 12s on these, man. 12s. It's got to be awesome. Well, sometimes I just look through here and find the ones that actually appeal to me. So I find this quadratic formula, uh, version 1.0, and we'll click on it. And they will give a great you know, great explanation of what's going on, things like that. And some of them will actually show pictures. This one's not showing pictures, but so you can take a chance on it. You can download it and see if it's what you need. Um, I usually go until I find one that I actually see and I like. Like this guy, he's got a screenshot for us. Quadratic Solver by Mike, whatever his name is. Enter A, enter B, enter C. Boom. I see a decimal, I see that. So it's, he's not giving us exact roots, but, uh, you know, not too bad. Let's see if we can find another one. Okay. Quadratic equations. So let's see. Quadratic formula. All right. Enter data. Useful program. Displaying the roots of the vertex. Okay. So we're going to just keep going. It's the best quadratic solver. Ah, it's basic. Man. Quadratic equation solver. Let's check this one out. Maybe this is good. Ah, does it give exact? All right, so let's let's see if we can find one that's got exact. So we can go back up here and type in quadratic. Uh, oops, quadratic, quadratic, exact. All right, exact quadratics. Wow, look at that. Score 19. This must be good. Let's check it out. And hey, it's an 83 and 84. It's good. Check this out. This guy goes all the way, buddy. He's got X1 and X2. He shows us this. Boom, boom. He's got it all going on. He's got both of them. He's even got the imaginary ones. Wow. That's pretty good. Don't you think? I think so. Looks really, really good. Now, he didn't do. He didn't go all out on the uh, the vertex, but that's not too bad. Everything else looks great, though. And, you know, you can go find the one that you want. But anyway, let's say that this is the uh, program that I want. Exact quadratics. Okay. All I have to do is click on it. Make sure it says T83 and 84. Uh, then I want to open it. That way I, I can see it. And here's the quadratic. And these are the programs that I'm going to use. So I'm just going to temporarily just drop them on my desktop so you can watch me do this okay they're being dropped right now okay now I, I, I'm kinda paranoid about dropping things into the calculator I'm, I'm thinking I don't want to you know kill it but anyway I've got everything in there and you can set and you can read read up on this and everything but I, I never I never do but anyway you can take this and you drop it in Oh yeah, I forgot. I gotta actually go into my folders. See, some things just die hard. You're just used to doing things with the uh, Windows. You gotta drop within the program itself. So I'm gonna drop. Oh, failed to open the USB device. I need to redo this one then. I think I let my 
my program go to sleep on me. I think I did. I was bad on that. I should have done that. All right, no problem. I'll just open up a terminal again. Type in TILP. Press enter. No such thing. It's failed. Check the USB cable. Make sure it's plugged in. My USB cable's plugged in. My USB cable is plugged in. Turn on directory listing. It says it's mounted. Operation close, close. Let's try this again. Okay. One more time. One more time. We'll get it eventually. Okay, that works. Alright now. Let's get this thing started now. T I L P. There we go. It worked then. Yay! I know. Hey, I got scared. Just like everybody else. I want, I want this to work. Okay, anyway. So, I restarted. I dropped that one. I dropped that one. And I dropped that one. Drop all three of them. Okay. Now, let's make sure they're all there. Uh, quad one, quad two, quad three. They're all in there. Okay, so let's look at my uh, calculator. Okay, move this out of the way. Okay. Oh, I need to turn on my camera so you can see it. All right, I'm ready to disconnect the cord. Boom. Okay. All right. Um, go to my programs. And sure enough, quad one. Press enter. A, I don't know, four, five, and let's say negative 77. Press enter. I see my X1 and my X2 decimals. Then here is their exact, you know, solutions. Well, that's kind of cool. He, he's giving me both. It's that one, and then plus or minus that. And then he gives me the vertex. Oh, the vertex he gave me is actually in fractions. Good job. Wow, it's pretty cool. You ask me. All right, program, and he's got another quad three on here, and quad two, four, and. Five and I think negative seventy-seven. I type something like that. He's got that one. That's it. <laughs> Not bad. But see, you you can see that the uh, the calculator works and everything. The way the guy actually intended it to. Yes, me. I think that's really cool. There's the vertex. Oh, he even gave us the discriminant. Oh, and he will even graph it for us. Man, he went all out. I like that. Anyway, uh, I hope this was helpful. It may not have been too helpful, but at least it's uh, something to go on. If you need to get your TI-84 uh, calculator working easily and for free, and you don't want to have to mess with uh, the TI software that they give you, which you know can be very aggravating at times. Sometimes it's even hard to find. But anyway, I hope this was helpful and that you can use it. And yes, my house is messy and stuff. But anyway, yes, I just had to show my messy house. But anyway, we're done. Just with a simple cable that you can, if you don't have one, go down to the local Goodwill. Sometimes they have uh, boxes of cables and you might have you might be able to find one of these. And uh, if you ever need to buy a calculator like this, go to the local pawn shops. Go to... Uh, uh, maybe places like Craigslist or a Reese, you know, a place that deals in used electronics, and you might be able to get one. Okay, or you can even go to uh, airports, you know, unclaimed baggage places, and get a good deal. All right, guys, I uh, want it to be helpful, and I think I've talked enough. And once again, we'll look at our accomplishments for tonight, and bingo, that's what we are able to do with technology. All right, guys.